What's going on you guys, JKD Production here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the spinning clone effect. Before we get on with the video, if you guys would, please hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So with After Effects pulled up, first thing we want to do is go ahead and find where we want to start our effect. I'm going to start it right here. Go ahead and split our clip, Control shift d Go to the end of our clip. Control shift D. First thing we want to do is go ahead and mask out our subject. Let's double click on our clip, open up a new layer, and roto brush our subject out. Let's go ahead and scroll to the end, let roto brush do its thing. Alright, with our subject roto brushed out, let's go back into our composition. Change our shift edge down to zero. Let's change our feather down to zero. And to do this effect, go ahead and duplicate our clip, Control D, go to your bottom clip, delete your roto brush. Now we have our roto brush layer on top and our background below. Now depending on which way you want to start the effect, you can start in front of him like this, or we can do behind him like this. So for this one, I'm going to have him start on top. So what we want to do, go to the beginning of our clip, make keyframe. Now let's go over five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Have them come off. Go all the way over here. Like so. Then what we can do is duplicate this layer twice. Because now we're going to go behind him. Open up mask on our bottom layer. Scroll over five frames. Actually the middle one you probably... Now what we want to do is go to our top clip. Position reset and turn off the keyframes now with our bottom clip go over five frames or I'm sorry make that seven frames and let's drag our subject back over now let's take our first clip that we made our duplicate of and drag it over so now so far we have this it goes behind them now to finish the effect we need to duplicate this layer one more time Drag it up, go to our position, drag this over, go to the very end, and click reset. Now let's drag this back. Now we should have something like this. And to make it a little smoother, let's go ahead and add motion blur to all of them. Select all of our clips, click U on our keyboard. Let's highlight our keyframes, key assistant, and easy ease those. And if you've been following along, you should have something like this. Alright guys, so that wraps it up for this video. Before we end it here, if you guys would, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.